Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And I wanna share something with you here because in this video, we're gonna be trying to figure out what exactly is going on with this mining rig. This is my AMD system. We got a RX 5700 non-XT ASRock Challenger, an XFX RX 590 Fat Boy, and then a Power Color RX 5700 XT. Now, every now and then this system crashes and it's getting warmer here in Florida. When it's nice and cool, this system runs no problems whatsoever. But as you can see, with a little bit of troubleshooting, the miners will actually tell us what is wrong. And we can see that GPU-3 is not responding. GPU-3 on this setup is this GPU, okay? You gotta pay attention to the way you got things set up. So we got GPU-1, power color on the red, next one down to 590, next one down, ASRock Challenger. This GPU is crashing, or the driver is crashing, as you can see here from AMD, and this GPU I really had to modify in order to really make it work efficiently. And you can see very carefully here in the back, we got thermal pads on the back side of the PCB, which does not come stock. And I had a huge issue with this GPU as a whole when I first got it, and I did a lot of videos on it, so if you haven't checked it out, make sure to look back for that. But we added thermal pads, and it's about 2.5 on the back and one mil on the front. The green is the one mil. And then back here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of red, a two millimeter red thermal pad, or like burgundy, and then a 0.5 gray. And this is not making sufficient contact. Unfortunately, the mounting holes are way away from the memory. And so we're not getting sufficient contact on the memory modules on the backside here. And I think it's getting too hot, now that the temperatures are rising, causing issues and causing this GPU to crash. Another thing that I'm having to deal with is this back fan will stop. Every once in a while, like you can see it's running slower, spinning slower than the front fan. We're gonna see if we can't modify that using a fan splitter off the motherboard. It takes one four W or one four pin PWM uh, connection and splits into four. A 120 millimeter fan and because the weight is heat sink design, we might be able to use that to just cool rather than this stock shroud. So continuing on, I did a live stream showing the teardown of this ASRock Challenger, but you can see here my zip ties are holding quite well. Just got a Corsair uh, SP120 on there, uh, doing a perfectly good job. I mean, this heat sink on this ASRock Challenger is really thin. Uh, not a lot of surface area, even though the heat pipes are honestly bigger. If you look at them compared to other models, they're, they are bigger, not by much, uh, especially compared to the power color. They're a little bit bigger. I mean, the RX 590 are about the same size, but the power color and other ones, the ASRock Challenger has bigger heat pipes, but doesn't have much surface areas or uh, fins to really dissipate that heat. But the cooler, uh, the Corsair, if I'm even saying that right, because I know people pick on me for that, um, it's doing a good job. The fan's doing a good job. Let's look at the thermals real quick. Uh, matter of fact, first, let me show you something. So this is a nice cool day, but in my house, because I can't run the AC all the time, obviously, because it costs me a lot of money, there's the ambient air temperature. And this is usually about the peak of the day in which we'll see this house get really hot. Because again, trying to save electricity. But, uh, if you look at the memory thermals, the second line right here, we're at 84C right now. Uh, average of 80C through between last night and, and obviously during the warm day today. And before that was reaching 102, uh, if the drivers crashed, if the drivers maintained, it was reaching about 94, 96 Celsius. So we dropped about 10 degrees on this specific model. And this system has been running pretty strong for the past 24 to 48 hours. And again, in that live stream, this ASRock card was the cause 
of this entire mining rig going down. Once this would crash, then everything else would crash. Another problem that I'm bumping into as we start to warm up here in Florida is now the gigabyte card is giving me issues. If we look at the gigabyte card, let me go ahead and bring you guys in a little bit closer. The memory junction temperature right now is 86C with uh, a peak of 88, average of 83C. And this GPU actually has, you know, so it has three fans and it actually has thermal pads, as you can see on the back side here. Unfortunately, um, the fans, for some reason, will just keep throttling itself down. I think the RPMs right now is around 2,900. If I try to go to like 3,200, after X amount of time, it will throttle itself down, uh, back down to below 3,000 RPM. Uh, not sure what that's about, but I'm, this is the max that I'm going to be able to get out of this 5700, even with the mem mod or anything like that. Uh, of course, the hash rate is down because I'm still testing. Um, we reached the peak of the gigabyte card, but now that this ASRock Challenger has this uh, little mod here where I got a zip tie connecting to where the actual GPU shroud would mount to, and then this one just trying to go, kind of going around that fin stack right there, it's holding right it's vertical so i don't have to worry about it it's holding it's keeping temperatures nice and cool and on top of that it's actually keeping this entire area nice and cool because it's blowing air um, in towards the gpu that air is coming down cooling the uh, power supply cooling the vrms and then cooling everything including the back plate of the power color so that's pretty nice so i think it was worth it um i mean you could do this unless you really want to get the asrock fan the replacement fan uh, which I'll throw up a picture of it for you with the model number and everything uh, if you're interested in watching a live stream where I was acting silly and tearing down this GPU and interacting with people uh, I'll have that linked in the description as well but uh, I say it's a big improvement 10 C difference obviously because we are using a, a much better fan uh, which is meant for blowing air through radiators because of static pressure so obviously it's gonna make a difference compared to the standard GPU shroud design that ASRock put on this Challenger. Hopefully they made some improvements with the Challenger Pro and other models, but the, the yellow and black one just really is terrible. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.